Yay. Here we so, go. So thanks so much for um, agreeing to chat with me today. I really, really loved um, doing the cleanse with you and guiding you through it. And you had such incredible results. I just wanted to share it with my community and anyone else that might be interested in um, doing the blender cleanse. So um, Brittany, just tell me a little bit about, you know, kind of like a short synopsis of, you know, where you were before you decided you, to do the blender cleanse. Um, my name's Brittany. Um, and I just turned 40, so, you know, Yay. it didn't really well, bother did me that much. I think it's kind of <laughs> cool. But, um, but you know, I did, the cleansing, I think, is a great idea to, to kind of just kind of reset your system. Um, before the cleanse, um, and I had a, a house guest, and I just kind of ate like a dumpster truck, just whatever I could. <laughs> And then I was like, I'm gonna do the cleanse. But right before the cleanse, I was super just puffy and bloated feeling and my energy was really low. I guess just mentally, I just didn't feel very good because I, I knew I had not been eating very well. And I was just kind of ex I'm really excited to get started. Like I got your, um, I got the, the book, you know, I, I bought it. So I kind of knew what I was gonna be getting into. And I was just, I was really ex excited to start. You know what I mean? I've done cleanses before, um, but I, I really love this concept and I couldn't wait to get started. I also kind of like, no offense, but reading the book, I was kind of like, well, this is a lot of food. I don't know if I'm really gonna lose much weight, but I think that I'll, I'll feel good after eating all this, you know, all these fruits and vegetables and like really treating my body good. So I was kind of shocked that I did lose so much weight. I didn't really weigh myself during it because I, Mentally, like, I just think like weighing yourself every day, it kind of like, it almost jinxes you. So you get to, <laughs> so I didn't weigh myself the whole time until after day seven. Um, and then I kept going with the juicing and, and I just, I got great results. I was really happy. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> sure with um, us exactly what your results were. Um, so I, I weighed myself at the end of the seven day period. I lost 12 pounds. And I did um, a string around my waist. So I did the beginning string and I like put it away in a drawer. And then at the end I did another string and I lined them up and I was like, I'm gonna measure the, the difference. Cause I don't really like the, the number of like the full way around my waist. I think that's, I don't, I don't like that number. So anyways, I measured that number four inches off my waist. Four inches in yeah. seven days. And I, I, I love the juicing days at the end so much. I also, I love prepping it the night before and like getting them all done and having them in the jars and like looking how beautiful they look in the fridge, all the different colors and everything. Um, visually, it was like my refrigerator was alive the whole week, you know, like it was like bustling with like fruits and vegetables and good energy. I loved it. Um, so anyways, I love the juice so much that I kept going for, let's see, I went for four more full days and then I did a fifth day of juice with some of your snacks mixed in to kind of get myself back on food. Um, so that in total, I lost 17 pounds. Amazing, that's <laughs> so great. I'm so happy for you. It was one of those like, why I can't really believe it. And then I said it out loud to someone and I was like, wait, is that right? Am I doing like a, a fishing tail here where I'm like making the fish bigger than it really is? And then I did the math again. And I was like, no, I lost 17 pounds. So, and you had to, um, you got, you juiced for so many days right off the bat, which is, um, you know, most people do like two, maybe three days, you know, it's okay if you do one, I usually recommend up to five and you did like five or six. I did. I loved it so much. I had, um, I had some veggies left over, so I wanted to put them to good use. Um, and so I just kept juicing. I loved doing the prep every night and getting all the jars filled up and having it in the fridge. And I love all the names you gave to the juices. So they became kind of like my mantra, like while I was drinking whatever juice it was, like my favorite was the I am spicy hot. So I would drink it and be like, I am spicy hot. I am spicy hot while I'm drinking the I am spicy hot and um, I am divine was kind of like I am divine while I'm drinking it um it just kind of kept me going it was just really friendly and fun and um and colorful I love seeing all the colors in the fridge too taste the rainbow yeah, exactly <laughs> awesome so tell me about the um types of cleanses that you've tried before 
Um, before my wedding, which was like 13 years ago, I did the um, the lemon water cleanse, like the really crazy one where you just drink um, water with lemon and cayenne pepper and a little bit of uh, maple syrup. Okay. And, um, you know, that cleanse is pretty much insane. <laughs> um, and it's obviously very restrictive. So like your mental mindset is is different when you're on that kind of cleanse because it's like, you know, all you can have is this one thing. And I, I feel like that part of it isn't really good for your body because it's not good for your mind to kind of be so super restrictive. Um, and then I also did this seven day uh, soup fast <laughs> where all we did was drink soup. Um, it was kind of like a fun novelty, if you will, like, we had a chant like, let's wrap the soup. What's for lunch soup? Um, <laughs> so it made it kind of fun, but again, it was very restrictive and it was just liquid only for seven days. Um, I was definitely hungry and would be a little cranky and I'd be like, is it the soup? I think it is. Um, so it, it was, a, both of those were a lot different than this one, like miles apart, um, but with better results, it was crazy. Better results, awesome, and you and you ate three meals a day and two snacks and juiced with your Vitamix, juiced with your blender. Yes, <laughs> I'm, I mean, like before this cleanse, this is gonna sound really bad, but before this cleanse, I just used my blender to fill it up with water to water my house trees. <laughs> like I never use my blender, and th just using it every day was was really fun and it made me feel good like I was getting use out of this machine that I know is great but I just I never put it to any use before I love it that's awesome um, I've done the master cleanse and I lasted a day and a half so <laughs> you? yes when you talk about the mental um, side of a cleanse and that was one of the reasons um, through all of my trial and error and creating the blender cleanse is that we really work on mindset so um you know when we did it live we i did share at the beginning like you can we talk about measurements you know weight sure if you want to weigh yourself just so you know but you're not allowed to weigh yourself throughout it until the end and then only take them and see the measurements because that is much more quantifiable than how many pounds you lose because we fluctuate so much like i can weigh four more pounds tomorrow because i'm about to start my cycle or i'm ovulating or what you know whatever it is i had a salty meal at, at night so um that's one part of the mindset that we're really going to get out of that we teach in during the cleanse and then it, a, a lot about you know dealing with cravings and you know not really having that those kinds of cravings and restriction because you are eating three meals and two snacks a day. So um, it's a very gentle cleanse, and I love knowing that it had better results for you than other cleanses that you've tried because um, having soup every day for that many days <laughs> it's better than having uh, cayenne pepper water. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> That's at least it, a little bit I think it really is also, it's like, it's it's the mental thing, like part of your design, like what you've created is just, I, it was almost like I, my mind was off guard. Cause like I said, I was looking at all the stuff and, and the, the menu and thinking, wow, this is tons of food. Like if you are obsessed with something too much or you, you want something too much, or you do something crazy, like drink soup for seven days, your your body doesn't really like do what it's supposed to do. You know what I mean? Um, and so I think the the mental aspect of it is is awesome. And also like the, the self-care thing that you folded into there. Um, I, I mean, I have two kids and I care for them all the time. I don't really care for myself. So I really liked picking up some of those tips and tricks and like treating myself while I was doing this, you know? Um, and I wasn't, it wasn't like I need to treat myself because I'm starving. It was more like I need to treat myself because I'm, I'm treating myself so good this week, you know? Um, I really enjoyed the, the dry brushing. I thought that was, it, it's really fun. I do it in the mornings now. It's like it's invigorating. And, and I'm like, gosh, this doesn't take any time at all. I should be doing this to myself all the time because like I need, you know, the, the self-care message I thought was really helpful. Absolutely, and that is the um, the core of my you know Slim Down Solution program, which is a 12-week program that I, everyone starts off doing the cleanse. So 
you got to see what just a week of my 12 week program is like, and it <laughs> includes lots and wow. lots of self care. So it's very important to me. Um, I did not give myself a lot of self care for most of my life until that became important. My health became more important. Um, and it's, especially as a mom with, yeah. uh, with kids, you know, it, that's we put ourselves last. So I'm so glad that you got to experience what that's like and hopefully you incorporate it more into your life moving forward. Yeah, and then great. you did it with your husband too, right? I did, I did. I didn't want to have to like cook him something else or I just figure it's, it's a good thing to do together as a team. Um, he didn't really need to lose weight so I had him eat some extra snacks that were on your approved list so he was still doing the cleanse but he didn't he didn't need to go down anymore good for him right yeah um and he but he lost like, a little bit anyway right like what's he did. it yeah it's he i did. mean once you clean out your colon and your system and all these things sometimes yeah. you just can't help it yeah yeah exactly and it was definitely nice to do together awesome i love it so um i did and i know you weren't really it didn't participate too much in the live uh, challenge. So you were kind of really just doing this on your own, um, based on, you know, a little bit of the Facebook group, um, yeah. and your ebook. That's correct. So when yeah. you guys started, um, I was excited to do it, but I had some social engagements and, and it would be at the end of the cleanse, the best part. And so I was like, I don't, I don't want to cut it short. And I, 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 I just knew it wasn't going to work for me. So I started, um, I think a maybe a full week after you guys started. But while you were doing it, I was still kind of like checking in. I don't have Facebook, but I was using my husband's account, kind of checking in, seeing what you guys were up to. And it was pretty uh, fun and inspiring to see all your other friends and how they were doing it and what they were putting up. And I made the chickpeas while you guys were doing it too, because I just, they, they looked really good. And um, it was, I like put up a picture. I was like, look at me using social media. It was fun. <laughs> I know you're so anti-social, <laughs> not social, but social media. <laughs> I get what you mean. Yeah. Definitely so, social. <laughs> but I, I think it's a, 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 a really like a, a smart thing to do. I think it's cool. It made me want to participate. It's so. fun. I definitely think doing it as a group is fun. That's why I host the challenges. Um, but so many people do it on their own. And then I also coach people privately one-on-one -on -one to do it. But, you know, that's okay. more expensive. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, I definitely, the, I'm, I want to jump on it every time you do it. Because oh, good. I so yes. Awesome. Well, I think I'm going to do another one um, coming up at the beginning of the year. So usually that's around when. I like to come around that time. Yeah. I think yeah. that's a smart idea. And I want to do it with my sister who lives in another state but I was telling her about it she was like wait what's up with you why do you have a jar of juice in your hand and I was like, let me tell you what I've been up to um so she wants to do it too and I've also um I kind of take see look what I did with my book I printed it out and I have like a little binding machine at home so it's like my little bible for the week so, I love it. Um, I, I, I want to have one of your recipes from here every day because I loved it so much and when I like something I, I like to have it multiple times so I have like the chia pudding and I'll do a parfait a day or, you know, a parfait or the, uh, the, the, the overnight oats or just kind of incorporate that or a juice, um, you know, going forward. Cause it's so, it's yes. good for you. And it reminds me of doing the cleanse. You know what I mean? It's like a, a positivity thing to kind of keep, keep that energy going. Yeah, it kind of has the connection to like continue eating healthier beyond the cleanse so that you are, that's kind of a more of a lifestyle. Absolutely. Yes. yes. Awesome. Yeah. So is there anything else um, that you want to add, like in terms of your differences that you noticed post cleanse and how you felt or what was different from before you started? Um, my energy levels during the cleanse were like super high, which I wasn't expecting because of the other cleanses I did and how, you know, kind of crazy they were. Um, and afterwards, I still feel kind of like this, like, like buzzing almost it's an excitement and also an energy that i just i just feel like higher higher up and i know some people when they read it they think i i feel like i would know this would be right for a cleanse but some people hear like no alcohol and no caffeine and that kind of scares them away i drink tons of coffee normally and not having coffee i was totally fine i thought i thought that would be a problem for me but it wasn't while I was doing the cleanse. I, I will admit it was the first thing I added back in at the end because <laughs> I do love coffee. Um, and alcohol, it, 
it's it's good for people to stop drinking for a while and see how that affects their body. That's awesome. I mean, we are um, during the cleanse, like removing toxins from our body. So it's really helpful to not add more toxins. <laughs> We're not going to fold them back in. No, we're not. Gonna, yeah. we, our liver's working pretty hard already. <laughs> yes. So that's awesome. I'm so glad. Thank you so much for sharing Thank with me. Thank you so much. You are yes. so awesome and amazing. I'm oh, so impressed by you. It. <laughs> great. It's really fun to do with you. And um, I hope that this benefits someone out there that might be considering doing it. Maybe it helps them to um, decide to try it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Brittany. So Awesome. Bye-bye. Uh -huh.